Hey there, YouTube and Falcon fans. I wanted to show you a really cool feature in Falcon, which is the mapper. It lets you send values through your modulation and transform them in different really cool ways. I have a patch here that uh, it's a very simple uh, analog patch. Let me uh, turn off the random modulator I'm using so you can hear it. Very simple, just a wavetable, some noise, analog, texture, just a very simple sort of pad. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm using a modulator to generate random notes. Uh, of course, when I generate those random notes, the problem with them is they are obviously not going to be in tune. So this modulation is happening basically over one semitone, and so you're hearing these various microtunings within one semitone of range uh, around that uh, C. So that's a problem. Uh, I am looking to generate tones uh, for a nice ambient pad, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the mapper to do that. So on the random note, I'm going to add a mapper, and uh, for that mapper, the mapping that's here is not really what I want. Uh, this is basically going to give me a, a large set of tones. Uh, they're all microtuned and they're not what I want. So I'm using a depth right now for the random note that's one semitone. And so basically what I can do is I can multiply the range in order to use that semitone as the parts of an octave. So in other words, if my range goes from negative 12 to 12, I am now multiplying the randomness over an octave down or up from where I'm playing right now. So what I can do is uh, change this range from minus 12 to 12. And uh, the size is going to be wrong. I don't need 128 steps. Uh, I can use fewer steps. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a range. For example, uh, I could use a range, a size of three, and I'm going to turn off the interpolation, turn on the integer output, and change the vertical snap so that the vertical snap also has 12 steps. And I'm going to turn that on. And so, for example, with three steps, I could choose 12, 0, sorry, minus 12, 0, and 12. And now my randomness its coming in as an octave up or down from where I'm hitting my key. Of course, the randomness isn't always going to trigger the lower octave, as you can see there, uh, but it will happen properly. So I could use this same technique to map a scale that I like. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load a mapper that I've already created for an ambient minor and open that. And you'll see basically I've got 11 steps here. So starting from the octave below, if I hit a C, uh, this is a C. 12 steps down, nine steps down would be an E flat. So C, E flat, G, G flat, B flat, C, and then again, E, e flat, G, G flat, B flat, C. Uh, and now when I hit this key, I'm going to get tones that are uh, in this nice kind of ambient scale that I like. I'm going to turn up the frequency a little bit so you can hear better what's going on here. So let me close the mapper, turn the frequency up, and it'll be easier to hear what's going on here. Great. All right, so I'm going to move this back down to the dotted measure that I had before. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on 
uh, another effect that I have, which is the delay. Uh, so before I had these slow notes. All right, that's great, but it's not going to sound very good in an ambient piece. So I'm going to turn on the diffuse delay. I'm going to hold this key down. Alright, so get a very slow uh, uh, kind of pad that sounds actually really nice. Um, should be a good bed for another piece of music. If for some reason I want to change the density of the notes, I could turn this frequency up. Uh, maybe not quite so high. There we go. And I could turn it up even more if I like. And hopefully you can hear that those notes are getting more dense uh, if I turn the frequency up like that. So uh, hopefully this gives you a couple hints on what to do. I'm going to include a set of mappers in the notes below this video so you can click on the link and download these mappers for use in your own uvi falcon and i hope that this gives you some ideas for what you might like to create and that you share whatever that is with the world so until then have fun with falcon and i'll see you next time